Hello Internet. Oops, sorry, wrong project. Car clusters. How can we test them? How can we test them for cheap? And why we need to test them? Can we test them without soldering iron? If you're asking these questions, I have an answer for you. This type of cluster don't break very often. So why do you want to test them? For example, if you have an orange one like this, which is black and white, and you want to upgrade for a color one, you don't want to switch them without checking the mileage. When you connect it without CAN bus signal, you get something like this. Nothing works and you don't know what's the mileage on this cluster. And why is it important? Because the mileage is stored in BSI unit and also in cluster. And after power up, the cluster sends the stored value to BSI and also BSI sends the value that is stored in BSI to display on the cluster. And if one of this value is lower than the other, then the bigger value is uh, being overwritten. So you can buy a cluster which has more mileage than your car, switch it and then you got a bigger mileage on your car. The cluster sends this value only once after power up and you want to know this value. So how can we do this for cheap? The first thing, Arduino Uno. The second thing, MCP2515 module and some code that I will provide in the description or if it doesn't fit, I will pin in the comments. So when you power up the Arduino, it's listening for the mileage from the cluster. Now it won't get it because the cluster is already on. And I'm sending also the value for the other gauges just to see if they work. As you can see, we got no mileage. But when we reboot the cluster by disconnecting, it will reset, sends the value to the Arduino. Arduino will get it or not. There is a bit of checking, so if something is wrong, Arduino won't try to display garbage. So let's try to reboot the Arduino also. Now we're waiting for the signal. And now we got the mileage. So now we can check with the color display. Let's connect this one. Connect the color one. And you got the new mileage. Of course, the cheapest way is to display on the same display as the car has to offer. That way you don't need to connect any displays for the Arduino. And also you can do the tests, but we don't have any buttons. So why connect any buttons when you have uh, buttons here? These buttons are sending signal to the BSI to control backlight, but it's a counter. So every time you press the button, the value on the CAN bus increases. So you can just press it and you can see it's going down. Or you can increase it. And this is the maximum value that you can send to the cluster of the speed. Okay, so how do you connect your Arduino? I'm using DuPont wires. 
And the connection is standard for uh, this canvas module. You can find it online. I will also provide it somewhere here, probably. Uh, the canvas connection, uh, the Dupont wires are not high quality, so sorry for that. Uh, the cluster connection is also easy. I'm using the plug that came from Scrapyard, but you can just use Dupont wires because the pins are the same. I will provide the diagram over here somewhere. And we're using only four wires, plus, minus, and the CAN bus, high and low. The rest of the pins are used for pinout extensions because the cluster acts as a hub. And uh, local buttons are connected to cluster. And also the outputs for the LEDs on the buttons are connected to this cluster. So that's a pretty nice solution. That way you don't have to route the buttons that are near the cluster to the BSI. You can route it, route it to the cluster and then they go by CAN bus and you're done. So let's try connect it one more time. Uh, probably something is not not doing what it should do, maybe reboot, okay, now reconnect the cluster, and you should get the mileage or not. Ah. Yeah. Make sure you buy a good quality DuPont wires or just learn to solder. Because as you can see it's not very reliable. But when it works, it works. Okay, that way you know what's the mileage on the cluster and you won't accidentally put it in your car. And also if you want to test the steppers, there's easy way to do this. So let's go to the computer. I will show you the program. And also I will try to explain what does what. Jump cut. So it's pretty straightforward. First you must include the SPI library. MCP 2515 library and then you define your CAN frames. Then we define a bunch of variables for our mileage which is stored in 3 bytes, fuel and also the checksum that is sent by a cluster from the mileage value. Our speeds, RPMs, so also 2 bytes, also our value to send to cluster to display. Here we can store the backlight buttons counter and this is a helper to let us send messages a little bit slower than in a main loop. In a setup we start SPI, we configure the MCP and then we prepare our CAN messages. This is the CAN ID for the RPM and speed. This is our CAN ID for the displaying the odometer. Here is a CAN ID for oil temperature and fuel gauge. This is for the ignition status and the brightness. We set this for the maximum value. This is hard coded. Also to light up all the dash lights, LEDs. This is on uh, two CAN IDs and we're sending it to light them all. Probably on these bytes are the outputs for the 
buttons, additional buttons, but we don't have them, so we don't set them. And then we start the main loop. This is our helper that is counting in the main loop. And here we are receiving the can message from the cluster. If the message is correct, then we are resetting the, the safety fuse. And here we are incrementing the safety fuse. So if the counter reaches 7000, then we reset the mileage that we sent to the cluster. So this feature is for making sure that if you connect the higher mileage cluster and you store this value and send them to the cluster and then you disconnect this cluster and connect the one that has lower mileage, you don't accidentally send the higher mileage to the lower mileage cluster. So if the CAN bus goes down, it clears the mileage values that are being sent. And here we are checking if the mileage sent from the cluster is correct. And then we copy it to the buffer. So this is the ID that is sent only once by the cluster after powering up. And here are the three bytes. So you can see we connect the byte 0 to byte 3, byte 1 to byte 4, byte 2 to byte 5. And we need to get FFFF for all of those values. Here we're checking the status of the backlight counter. And here is a simple switch statement that selects from the received status of the counter. And accordingly sends speed, RPMs and fuel to the frame that is sent to the cluster. So we got all those cases. You can change them accordingly if you don't want the value that are programmed now. And here we are sending these values and also we are sending uh, according to the helper counter so not so often ignition backlight lights and here we are re rewriting the values from the case statement and here we are moving the mileage to send to the cluster and also rewriting this to the output frame and that's it so i will copy this to youtube somehow comments or pinned, uh, pinned comment or description so you can copy it directly to your arduino and try it yourselves so anyway thanks for watching subscribe and i will see you next time